Hey everybody, I'm Andrew, and this is Bali. Hi everyone! And together, we're going to be explaining the type of science that affects you every day. Oh, hey. Bali and I were just listening to some sounds. Where do sounds come from? That's a good question, Bali. Where do sounds come from? Let's explore. Sounds are all around us. And they come from sound sources. A sound source is anything that makes sound. Sound is a type of energy. Therefore, anything that makes sound is also using energy. If it's not using energy, it's not making sound. For example, this fan. Right now it's off. It's not using any energy. If we listen to it, it doesn't make any sound. If I turn it on and it starts using energy, then we should be able to hear it. Now that the fan is using energy, we can hear it making sound. We can find sources of sound around the house. Like this refrigerator. If you listen, you can hear it humming. Some sounds are loud. Some sounds are really quiet. Shh. Sources of sound are everywhere. In our house. In the streets. Around town. Sky. Now let's see if you can identify these common sounds from around the house and the neighborhood. What are some of the things that we've learned today? I learned that sound is energy, and it comes from sound sources. Sound sources are all around us all the time. That's right. Good job. Now, if you'll excuse us, me and Bali got some tunes to listen to. I love that part. Me too. But what makes this sound? That's a good question. What is sound? I'm Andrew, and this is Bali. Hello. Today, we're going to learn all about what sound really is. Sound is a type of energy. Sound is caused by moving things back and forth very rapidly. We call these vibrations. When a source of sound, like a car, honks its horn, the horn vibrates the air around it. These vibrations continue through the air until they reach our ears. Inside our ears is the eardrum, which then also vibrates, telling our brain we're hearing noise. Musical instruments like guitars take advantage of these vibrations. Watch as this guitar string vibrates rapidly to make noise.
We mentioned that sound is vibrations, and sound coming out of a speaker or your headphones is no different. You can see on this speaker, we have a cone here. Now what this cone is gonna do when electricity is run through it is it'll bump back and forth and cause vibrations to come out and make sound for us. You can see here that I've laid the speaker on its back so that the cones are pointing up. Now I'm gonna hold this tray of rice just above the speaker. I'm not gonna to touch the speaker because I wanna show that the vibrations are gonna travel through the air and vibrate our rice. For the most part, the harder an object is, the better it's gonna vibrate. So, we have a couple of objects here, and I'm gonna be using this metal pencil to bang against them, and let's see what kind of sounds we can get out of them. The first one is a metal water bottle. Now, metal's a very hard substance, so we should get a pretty good sound. A lot of vibrations. I can even actually feel the vibrations in my hand. Now, paper towels are very soft. So we really shouldn't get a good sound, a big sound from this one. Not much. Glass is really hard, so we should get a good sound from this. Now I'm going to be careful as I do this. We do get a pretty good sound. Some things are actually made to absorb vibrations. The rubber on the bottom of your shoe is made to absorb the vibrations from you stepping on the ground all day long to make it softer on your feet. So it should, just like it absorbs those vibrations from the ground, absorb the sound from the pen. Not a whole lot of sound. Here's a neat trick you can do with your parents' permission. Get a glass like this and put some water in it. Get your finger wet and then rub it around the outside of the glass. As you rub it, you should cause the glass to vibrate and you'll hear it make noise. So, Molly, we've talked a lot about sound. Sound is energy. And that energy causes vibrations. You're right. And those vibrations can travel through the air until they reach our eardrums where we hear them as noise. And that's how we can enjoy listening to music and watching movies and all kinds of other fun stuff. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for sound. Go check out some sounds around your house. If you remember from earlier lessons, sound is a type of energy that is made when objects vibrate. When these vibrations reach our ears, we hear them as noise. A doorbell sound lets us know the guests have arrived. Someone's in the door. Hey, Bolly. Hello. People learned how to use sound to communicate important information. A cell phone rings to let you know that somebody's calling. A school bell calls students to a lesson. A coach's whistle in the gym tells them to start exercising. All emergency service cars have sound alarms. Police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances. When these cars race to the rescue, the alarm sound tells other cars to get out of the way. The world around us is full of sounds and light. Listen and look carefully, and you might learn something interesting. That's it for this time. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time! Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.